Putting hogs on the mob, planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat. Purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple rim, 77 coat. I'm getting straight to it, okay? Bart Scott. I'm, I'm going to call this this ninja. Okay? We're going to just concentrate. This ninja, Bart Scott, had the nerve to sit there and try to dog Hollywood Brown. Talking about he couldn't be a starter for this and that. He wouldn't be a, a first or second and all of that. Child, please. Like, are, 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 are we serious right now, Boy Scott? I, I don't usually make videos with this type of stupidity, but I just couldn't, I couldn't help myself. Like, are you really serious, dog? You literally was undrafted, and I got respect for a lot of people that's undrafted because that means you grind. Which I respect. You did grind. But. You was never a starter. Until you really went with the Jets. And then you became a pretty much starter. For a good while. Ray Lewis literally. Helped your career and carried you. He pretty much pacified you. Where. You had a pacifier in your mouth because you was a baby for years. Then you finally went to a team with the Jets where he helped you get paid. You only went to one Pro Bowl and that was in 2006. Ray Lewis helped you get to the Pro Bowl. But when you went to the Jets, I don't see no Pro Bowls because Ray wasn't there. And you was with the Jets for a good while. 2009 to 2012. By the way, 2012 is when the Ravens won the Super Bowl. You wasn't there. I'm not. I'm sitting here trying to think. Am I missing something? He told Hollywood to go upstairs. And we will see pictures of him. Uh, Hollywood will see pictures of him. Are you standing next to Ray Lewis? Terrell Suggs? Ed Reed, Holore Nada. Are you standing to standing next to any of these players? Zachary Orr. Heck, you probably came in when C.J. Mosley was there and probably took a picture with C.J. Mosley. Because I know your picture is not up there with just you. You're not even in the ring of honor. So where, where is he getting this idea that he's like an alumni of the Ravens? You're not. I literally sat there and looked at the ring of honor for the Baltimore Ravens. I'm sitting here looking and I'm like, Am, am, am I missing something? I, I went one by one. I'm like, okay. Sometimes, you know how when you look at things too fast, you kind of skip over. So I'm like, let me look at this one by one by one from since 1996, from the beginning. And I'm like, I know he's not that old. But still, let me just make sure I'm not miss. I'm, 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 I'm not, because it. They can, you know, flip the name. Some name might be inaccurate. So I'm like, let me just check. I'm seeing other people named except Bar Scott. But he's sitting here talking all big headed on ESPN like he was that dude.
The I Can't Wait dude. They got owned by Tom Brady and the Patriots. Finally beat them and couldn't do nothing. And wasn't even... And that's a team. But... I'm... I'm Am I am I missing it? Like Ray Lewis literally helped you and your family get paid, my dude. And he gonna sit there and play for this organization for a good minute, might I add. And I still don't see you in the Ring of Honor. He's talking about pictures. Like Adam Iverson said, we talking about practice? We're talking about pictures? And literally, when you said this, behind you at ESPN, the company that you are working for, I see green and white on your 57 jersey. Ravens are not green and white. That's a Jets jersey behind you. Even your own company that you work for doesn't acknowledge you as a Raven. I'm trying to bring it down, but this type of stupidity, it really irked me because he sat there and backed it up. He sat there and disrespected Hollywood. Hollywood came back and punched the bully in the face. And then you're going to try to come back and try to talk smack once again for some clicks and some views? Because around my way, and I know probably around Hollywood's way, and probably around the way for a couple of people that's viewing this video, the bullies get punched. Days of being bullied for some people are over. And Hollywood sat there and looked at this Nelson from Simpsons wannabe. And he went Bart Simpson on him. And punched him right back. And he got all upset. Bartholomew. You didn't like that? You want us to find your pictures? On the wall of the castle? So help me out someone. Because obviously he feels like he's a raven legendary raven might I add. And I know this got to be new to the ravens because they like he's he, he's he's a legend. He's a Ray Lewis. He's a Ed Reed. He's a Jonathan Ogden. He's a Terrell sucks. He's not even in the in the bleachers. He's not in the Ring of Honor. What is he talking about? Oh, he talking about the fat heads. Is he, he must be talking about the fat heads that's in his house upstairs or something. Because obviously he's not singled in a picture at the Ravens facility. That's what it got to be. What it's got to be. Because it ain't that his own. It ain't that ESPN. Because they got Jets behind them. So, Doc, go it. That's what it got to be. I think we figured it out. He must be talking about his own house. Because that's the only pictures I saw or that I will see. Because I know it's not at the Ravens facility, it's not yet at ESPN. It must be at his house. That's the only jet. That's the only Ravens pictures that that they gotta be up. That's what it is.